Hi, I'm Adam Murphy, Democratic candidate for U.S. Senate here in Wisconsin. And the question of why doesn't the U.S. just produce more oil is a question that a lot of people are asking. And Scott Walker should absolutely know the answer to it. Instead, he's just choosing to play politics. So let me give you a whisper of insight. Here we go. When COVID hit, demand around the world for gasoline for oil dropped dramatically, of course, because people weren't driving. However, uh, Saudi Arabia, OPEC, and Russia were keeping the, the supplies elevated in order to drive down prices, which drove U.S. producers actually out of the business to a certain extent. Eventually, Donald Trump negotiated with OPEC and with Russia in order to reduce their supply by as much as 10 million barrels a day. The interesting thing is, is that negotiation is actually still in play through the end of April 2022. Right now it's down to 5.7 million barrels a day in reduced production. So that's part of the problem that we've got worldwide. Global demand has risen back up, of course. And now we've got this situation with Russia attacking Ukraine and how do we deal with Russian oil? So why haven't the United States drillers come back? Well, here's why. When OPEC um, dropped prices, that meant that the price for the United States drillers was too low. The amount that they could get per barrel was too low for them to actually invest in new wells. There are currently 9,000 open well permits here in the United States on federal lands, 9,000. So it's not that the Biden administration is stopping anybody. There are 9,000 permits. What it is is that it's not profitable enough, or hasn't been until just recently, for drillers to open new wells. They have to be here in the United States somewhere around 50 to $70 a barrel in order for it to be profitable. And OPEC and Russia managed to keep prices in that range so that it didn't make sense for US um, companies to actually start drilling new wells. That's the reason, that's just part of the reason. There's so much else going on, but that's part of the reason. It just economically did not make sense. So now that we're up to 100, 110, $120 a barrel, <sighs> American drillers could potentially get in, but that's going to take time. In the meantime, Saudi Arabia and OPEC don't want to actually increase supply because that would drop prices, and right now they're making record amounts of money. That's part of the reason why American drillers haven't gotten back in and why prices are going up for us all. It's all global economics and politics.